Welcome back to this week's Fastest Minute in Construction. I'm Nate Beck, Daily Reporter, Staff Writer. Let's dig into the news. Officials this week marked the end of a six-year, $1.1 billion reconstruction of Interstate 3990 between Madison and the Illinois border. Wisconsin Governor Tony Evers and Wisconsin Department of Transportation Secretary Craig Thompson joined local officials on Wednesday to mark the end of the project. The reconstruction expanded much of the interstate from four to six lanes and expanded a section running through Janesville from four to eight lanes. The project got underway in 2015. Crews are wrapping up work on a Beloit interchange next month and plan to finish a final restoration work this spring. Wisconsin regulators on Thursday rejected an attempt to block the $650 million Koshkanong Solar Energy Center in Dane County, the largest proposed solar farm in the state. The nearby town of Christiana filed a motion to dismiss the project, which includes 300 megawatts of solar energy generation and battery storage. The project is being developed as a so-called merchant plant, meaning developer Invenergy is seeking permission to build the plant, while utilities We Energies and Madison Gas and Electric are separately seeking a go-ahead to buy power from the project. Opponents say the two-fold approval process is an attempt to sidestep state regulations. But the Public Service Commission voted to reject that argument, allowing the project to proceed. That's it for this week's punch list. We'll see you next week.